Well, you guys, this past Friday was a major day for the country. The University of Florida laid off all of their DEI staff. I mean, grab a bottle of champagne and pop it. This is a major victory for the country. We're going to be talking about this in just one second. But first, if you're watching this video, make sure to like the video. Make sure to subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And hit that bell notification button. I greatly appreciate all you guys doing that as it does help the videos reach new people. Let's go ahead and jump into this. So from the post-millennial, we have breaking. University of Florida lays off all DEI staff. Right here, you have... <laughs> no more belonging inclusion diversity equity where's the uh, marxism block that's that's interesting right here it says in an email from the administration the people at the college were informed that university of florida staff related to dei will be eliminated we have a tweet here from charlie kirk posting or actually it's a quote tweet him saying massive breaking the university of florida has fired all dei staff Conservatives are finally fighting back. Every red state must follow suit as soon as humanly possible. This is the way. And he is so right. This is the way. Every red state must and, and likely will be following suit. Florida is just leading the way against all of this cultural Marxism infecting our society. And that's exactly what DEI is. I forgot who was talking about. Maybe it was James Lindsay talking about the other day. He has an amazing video uh, just kind of explaining DEI. I think it was, you know, maybe a 20 minute video. I'll put a link in the description if anyone wants to check it out. But essentially, he, he just does a, a very simple breakdown for people. And it actually can be relatively complex depending on how deep you want to get into it. But a lot of the Marxists had a lot of trouble, you know, selling the American people uh, <laughs> on the evils, quote unquote, of free market capitalism. And I'm not talking about corporatism here. I'm talking about free market capitalism. Because a lot of the American people are just kind of saying, well, our lives are pretty good here. I mean, <laughs> where, where do you want us to look at? Because we're, we're, doing, we're doing pretty well, just historically. That's why they have essentially, or literally, replaced that argument. The evils of free market capitalism with the evils of whiteness. The evils of colonialism. That's why you've been hearing all this stuff lately. Because... It's not really about whiteness or colonialism or anything like that. It's about destroying the system that is the United States, destroying the Constitution, destroying the founding document, destroying all that has made America as great as it is today. That's what it's about. And that's what DEI is. This is the baby of the Democrat Party today. There's going to be a lot of pushback on this. Let's go ahead and check out this document. So it says... Subject, compliance with BOG regulation 9.016 on prohibited expenditures. To comply with the Florida Board of Governors regulation 9.016 on prohibited expenditures, the University of Florida has closed the office of the Chief Diversity Officer, eliminated DEI positions and administrative appointments, and halted DEI-focused contracts with outside vendors. Good excellent they have essentially they've gotten rid of their office that's just ussr propaganda to make students hate the united states of america and white people by the way it's just a racist office with some some uh, low iq marxist that gets hired to gets paid a hundred thousand dollars to call white people racist basically under the direction of UF Human Resources, university employees whose positions were eliminated will receive UF standard 12 weeks of pay. One, I, I love seeing that they're actually being fired, but, but two, 12 weeks of pay, I, I'm not sure that you deserve 12 weeks of, of kind of severance pay. I'm not sure that you, you, you deserve that. If anything, you probably owe the American people money for the damage that you've done to their children <laughs> that are going to these colleges. Yeah, maybe, maybe you get fired and you have to pay the American people back 30 grand each. Something like, we'll, we'll settle for $30,000. These colleagues are allowed and encouraged to apply between now and Friday, August 19th for expedited consideration for different positions currently posted with the university. I, I, I genuinely hope they don't get those positions. These people are much too radical. These are, these are Marxists that are in the position that they're in to spread hatred for not only white Americans, but for the American system as a whole, for the country as a whole. 
Additionally, the office of the chief financial officer will reallocate the approximately $5 million in funds previously reported to Tal Tallahassee for DEI expenses, including salaries and expenditures into a faculty recruitment fund to be administered by the office of the provost. So how many were laid off? Let's see. Right here, it says UF student publication and alligator reported that the university fired 13 full-time diversity, equity, and inclusion positions and ended 15 DEI administrator appointments on Friday. The employees fired will receive 12 weeks of payment as a severance package. Again, they owe the American people. The American people do not owe them or the college doesn't owe them. This is some major news, okay? And I say that just because of this part right here, every red state must follow suit. Charlie is right, and that's likely what's going to happen. Now, DEI, whether it be implemented in the corporate world or the university world, is the Democrat Party's baby right now. It's creating radicals, like you saw in my last video of Charlie Kirk versus like 50 angry, woke students. That is what DEI creates. That is what DEI mold students into not just college by the way it could be involved in high school or whatever it may be but they grow up learning and hating whiteness and what is whiteness aside from just <laughs> you know free market capitalism essentially when you dig into it that's what it is right they want to completely dismantle the constitution they want to completely dismantle the country as a whole and rebuild they just use that word whiteness because the Marxists found it way easier to stoke division based on race, sexual orientation, gender. Way, way, way easier to do that than trying to sell the American people that America is actually bad and all the money that you have in your pockets is not a good thing, <laughs> you know? They've had massive success with programs like this. So the Biden administration is likely going to be pushing back on this. They're going, to be, they're going to be threatening federal funding in any way that they can, similar to what we saw with the restroom debate, the biological men being allowed in women's restroom debate where the Biden administration was threatening to remove federal funding for lunches. We'll see something similar here. I'm not sure if we'll see it for University of Florida, but if this gains momentum, which it will, it's a winning argument. As soon as you expose DEI for what it is, nobody wants anything to do with it. So if it gains more momentum, it will absolutely, it will absolutely be the target of the federal government. Maybe, you know, maybe on a election year, Biden is going to have a lot of trouble with that. They might have a lot of trouble with that. We'll see. But they're not going to let this go without attempting to punish the university. Democrats will not let this go. This is a black eye. This is an absolute black eye to their agenda. We had a couple of responses on this saying, my husband and sons are alumni. UF will, n will get no more of this family's support or money. Shame. No, 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 no. Shame, shame on you. Shame on you. On the other end, we have incredible and really important that they were fired rather than just transferred elsewhere to do more damage under a different title. Yeah, they did include that they would try to hire them, that doesn't mean that they will, right? But I agree. I agree with this. That was very good that they were fired. Ron DeSantis says, DEI is toxic and has no place in our public universities. I'm glad that Florida was the first state to eliminate DEI, and I hope more states follow suit. They absolutely will. And great job, Ron. Uh, Michael, I apologize if I, if I uh, mess up your last name here. Michael Seifert says, who would have ever thought that the University of Florida would fire their DEI department faster than Liberty University? Interesting point there. This, ho ho hopefully Liberty University will be following. Again, this is going to put a major target on the back of University of Florida. This is going to put a major target on their back when it comes to the federal government, when it comes to Democrats. They will use every weapon that they have right? Against this university, against the state of Florida, against Ron DeSantis for doing this. 100%. There's no doubt about it. Wait a few weeks. We'll, we'll see. Ben Shapiro says, best governor in America. I think that's pretty hard to argue with at this point. We can look at his 
his presidential campaign and probably largely agree that from start to finish, complete disaster in every way, shape, and form. Not a very controversial take there. It's pretty, that's pretty straightforward. I know, I know he pissed off a lot of people with that, but it is true. Best governor in America. Tiffany Justice, the um, co-founder for Moms for Liberty says he really is. We also have here, you guys, I wanted to include this just because this day really marks a major shift in the movement of taking back college campuses away from the Marxists, taking them back because a lot of people are waking up to the chaos that these college campuses are producing, these chaotic students. I mean, it's every single video. You go out and film and you ask a basic question, what is a woman on a college campus? You have an angry mob of 30 people around you within an hour. People are seeing this. People are noticing. And they're pushing back. Harvard's new interim uh, provost is a former law clerk for conservative judges Robert Bork and Antonin Scalia. Harvard is slowly moving back to the center. And we have just started to ratchet up the pressure. Unbelievable shift with Harvard. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean that since he was a clerk for conservative judges. That doesn't necessarily mean that since he, he, he did that, he hasn't shifted his political views or anything like that. But I will say night and day difference that we're seeing over at Harvard. And that's also a, just a temporary individual there, but still very, very good to see. This is not something that you would see at Harvard a few years ago. They needed the backlash. Also, Christopher Rufo brings up that they're moving back to the center. That's great. We want college campuses to move. We, we want to overcorrect. We don't want to go to center. You need to overcorrect to end up at center later on. Harvard Law School Dean John Manning, 82, named interim provost by Garber. Great to see. This is really good news, you guys. We're going to end it on here. Just a response to the announcement of the employees related to DEI being fired. Ron DeSantis killed me. It says UF DEI staffers today, right? Yep. Don't let the door hit you on the way out. Let me know what you guys think. I'm really curious if you guys see this as the turning point in education the way I see it. I mean, this is just going to be massive. Do you guys think that other states are going to follow suit? Or do you think that the federal government and the left wing is going to shut this down? Remember, DEI is their baby. But it is, it is teaching hatred, intolerance, and, and just spreading anti-America propaganda. It needs to be shut down. The left wing will never stop pushing this until it is banned. So hats off to the state of Florida and University of Florida for making that first step to actually making American universities great again. Just a major turning point for the country. You guys, let me know what you think down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification button so you're notified next to my post. And I'll catch you all in the next video.